Hey y'all, Nick Pomeroy here, PR Equipment, Currents, Texas, and soon to be in Canton, Texas. Hey, today we wanted to get out and talk about an ag spray sprayer that's pretty popular around here. Uh, this is for y'all that need maybe, you know, need a little bit more of a professional sprayer, got a little bit more to do, uh, and, and just kind of have a little bit higher demands. We want to talk about what this sprayer is, but we also want to talk about some of the reasons why you should potentially buy it from PR Equipment and some of the unique features that we have, you know, exclusive here at PR Equipment. Um, so this is a TR500E. It's not uncommon. You can buy these lots of places. Um, it does have the ag style tires. So we've got the taller style tires. So it just rides a little bit smoother, gets you a little bit more ground clearance. There's a lot to like about that. Um, but it's a relatively common sprayer. It does have the shock absorber boom. It's got a 35 foot shock. They also offer it in a 28 and a 42. For our area, the 42 is just a little bit too big. I can get it for you if you've got those really smooth fields. But in our experience, stick with the 35. It does have the Oklahoma Special Kit on there, so you've got the ability to run boomless as well as the boom, so you just change these valves, and now your left and right boom section are, are now set up for the boomless nozzles. These are XTO24 boomless nozzles. You got about 32 feet of spray coverage if you, if you run with the, just the boomless nozzles, you got 35 feet with the boom. You got the AIXR1103 nozzles, they got individual no, uh, strainers and all that. So a very, very high quality tip. It's an air inducted tip for a little bit larger droplet size. That's gonna help with drift a little bit. And, and don't forget the, the nozzle, the check valves on each nozzle. That, that's something you see on the bigger sprayers. It's really nice to do on these and they're not that expensive. So it's nice that they do it. It, is, it does have a breakaway. It's got a little bit nicer breakaway than some of the booms that you see in the industry. So we've got this casting here that sets kind of into the saddle and the spring changes how much tension that is uh to, to pop out so you can actually adjust the breakaway so it's kind of cool um it's all powder coated frame we've got an offset lid 500 gallon tank that's a nice nice option to have that offset lid especially on these taller tire sprayers because it does get a little bit harder to get to things um but the five 500 gallon tank it's uv stabilized so if you're out shopping for a sprayer and they have a white tank it's typically because they're cheap, right? So uh, the, the yellow tank costs a little bit more because it is UV stabilized. We're gonna guarantee it for three years uh, from any, any issues with that. But to be honest with you, these tanks in most conditions are gonna last 10, 20, 30 years if you take care of it. And having that UV stabilization, especially here in Texas, makes a big deal. If you've ever been around those white tanks when they get a lot of UV rays, they're gonna start being pretty brittle and cracking and things. So you wanna kind of avoid that if at all possible. Um, but let's talk about a few things. You know, I guess one more thing that's kind of kind of nice with uh, Ag Spray. They do utilize the, uh, the this heavy adjustable hitch. I like this. You've got lots and lots of adjustment for this cast iron hitch. It's just a little bit more premium feature than, than you see on some other sprayers. So that's pretty nice. Obviously, we got a strainer and things like that. But moving on from that, I want to talk about some things that, that make the sprayer unique to PR equipment. One thing is we order these sprayers without a pump. And the reason why is because Ag Spray's premium pump is called a High Pro 7560 XL. It's a silver cast pump. Your salesman might be trying to tell you it's a stainless steel pump, but it is not. It is a high quality cast iron and don't get me wrong, it's, it's not a bad pump. We've sold, man, I've sold hundreds of them over the years. But what we really like is this true machine stainless pump. This is an 8900 DSS. The SS stands for stainless steel. It is a truly machined stainless steel pump. Even the, even the shaft, everything is stainless about this pump. Um, it's just a little higher quality pump. So we actually order these sprayers with no pump and we put our own pump on there. And we do get them with the cam locks. So we'll, we'll be screwing those in and that's gonna give you the ability to quickly detach the pump. But there's a lot less maintenance with this stainless steel pump than there is with a cast iron or even a silver cast pump. They do claim the silver cast pump is Roundup ready, and it is. Uh, it's a it's a tr it's a good corrosion resistant pump from High Pro. We just have we we really like that true stainless steel pump. Kind of another exclusive feature here at PR Equipment. So, one thing to note: doesn't matter you go buy this Ag Spray unit pretty much anywhere else, they're going to have a High Pro pump. We're going to run this stainless steel pump. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping. So one of the other exclusive features here at PR Equipment. We've worked with Ag Spray to combine some features we like from another brand we sell and to add them into the Ag Spray unit. We love this frame. We love a lot of things about this sprayer, but one of the things that wasn't really our favorite was the valve system. So most of what Ag Spray uses and probably the ones that you've seen at your local 
local store or whatever, are going to have an aluminum, it's like an AL17 uh, aluminum control valve with a single control lever. Uh, not our favorite. Uh, maintenance, maybe some maintenance issues, longevity, it's not really there. Plus, it's all threaded couplings. There's just a lot of things that I'm not a huge, huge fan of. So we worked with Ag Spray to get these T-Jet uh, modular control lever valves, independent you know, lever valves installed on our, all the 500 gallons, 300 gallon sprayers that we sell here at PR Equipment. And we're a big fan. There's a couple reasons why we're a big fan. Obviously, you've got individual lever control you know, for three boom sections plus the gun. Um, we're, we're a pretty big fan of that. But the, the maintenance is, uh, one other thing, I guess before I go to that, you can convert this to electric pretty easy. When you go from the aluminum control valve to electric, it's you got to replumb the whole thing, right? It's it's a, it's it's kind of a mess. We've done it several times, and so I can tell you for, with a fact. In fact, I've done it myself. It's not fun to convert the old, that style over to electric. Can be done, but not as fun. Uh, when we do this, all we have to do with this is is change out these valve sections. You can change out one. You can change out three. You can change out whatever you want, and it's pretty simple because it is a modular style valve. We have, I think we've got them in stock and whatnot. But another thing that's pretty cool is like, if you ever had to do any maintenance to this valve, everything is held together with these pins and that's why I call it the modular valve system. But so if I needed to remove a valve section for whatever reason, maybe it froze. All I need to do is pull those two clips, pull those hoses, four bolts. Now I can change my, my valve section out. You can't beat that. Um, also, I don't know if you've ever been around threaded couplings and it's like how much sealant do I put on, how tight do I get it. Plastic can be a little bit fickle, so we like this style. I think it's just a little bit more premium, which is why we've got we'll worked with Ag Spray to get this. I would not be surprised if Ag Spray doesn't go to this next year and everybody gets it, but this year it's us. Finally, uh, we've got suspension on our 500 gallon tall tire sprayers. So this is a torsion style axle, so our whole axle is going to have suspension. We do that, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of in here, you got this cast iron camber, or this cast iron arm there, but we, we prefer suspension on these sprayers, it just gives us, gives it takes a little of the shock out, especially, you know, 500 gallons out in the field, it's going to have some pretty good shock, and so it, the nice part about it is it takes a lot of the bounce off the tractor, but it also, you know, saves your boom a little bit, just takes some of that, that hard shock off the boom. So there's a number of features that we've included in this sprayer. It's just like say, you're not gonna get this set up anywhere else. I don't care where you're at in the country, you'd have to you know, ha ask them to custom build this thing to get it for you. This is how we're gonna stock this unit. We've got, this one's sold, but I've got a few more. So if you guys are looking for a 500 gallon tall tire sprayer, we've got one for you. If you're looking for any sprayer, we've got Best Way Ag Spray, we've got sprayers from 40 gallons all the way up to a thousand gallons in stock multiples uh whether you want boomless booms we've got it all um check us out on facebook like us on youtube subscribe to our channel also check us out our, our on our website prequipmentsales.com if there's something custom you're looking for we've got quite a bit of that stuff too but we've got a great selection of sprayers and we're here to help thanks